Hey, grown folks, Donna Smith, a.k.a. Lady D. I'm going to sprinkle you with a little bit more grown folk talk here. Let's talk about, you know, when you're in a situation with somebody, you know, you kicking it, y'all cool. Um, you're not exclusive, but you're spending some time, you know, the bumping and grinding is on point. You know, you get together, you get your little drink on, you have a good time, all is real, and you enjoy one another. And things get to the point where it's pretty hot because you start to look forward to hearing and talking to that person every day. And you do. Sometimes a few times a day. And you roll with it and you get dependent on that. And then, you know, you start to determine a pattern. They determine your pattern. You determine their pattern. But you're not exclusive. But you're still feeling like you, you're a part of that person to some degree. And then all of a sudden, they start to change. They start to change up on you with their direction, with their um, with the things that they normally do in regards to you. They may shy down with the telephone calls. They're not hitting you as much. They're not wanting to do things with you as much as that they were before. Um, all of a sudden, they're not available on the weekend, and before they was wide open. And you start to notice these things, and then when they are available, and things are on the right track, they're coming at you full speed. Woom, 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 woom. I mean, how do you deal with that? You know, you're not exclusive. You're just kicking it. You don't really have the the position to say or complain about things because you don't have a a clear, you know, connection going on. You just kind of you're just flowing, some would say. So how do you how do you deal with that? Do you express it to that person that you know, well, what's up? You know, I just this is not cool. I can't do this. I'm starting to kind of feel you. You doing too much. You know, you was this way. Now you that way. Or do you just kind of back up a little bit and start doing you? And maybe when they start trying to get at you and spend that time, you become not available like you were. You know, but then again, aren't you getting caught up in game playing? Isn't that game playing, tit for tat type of thing? So I like to know grown folks, you know, this is a short and sweet one. And this is something that I think a lot of people go through or who have, you know, the first three months they say is very critical. So you get this thing uh, going on around that three month mark where you've gotten comfortable, you've gotten to know each other a little better, and you just feel like you can just be chilly, you know? And you, you want to hold on, but you don't really want nothing, you know, to develop with this on a serious note. So you're still keeping your options open. But you don't want to let go of this good thing you got going on here. But how do you approach the situation when it's being done to you? How do you let this person know? Because you don't want to give them the idea that you just wide open and that you just really feeling them on a level where you're starting to now trip because, like I said, you're not exclusive. So what do you do? What have you done when you've been in a situation like that or know of someone who has? We here on the Donna Smith Show would love to hear your thoughts, your comments, and to, you know, sprinkle us with some of your, your game and knowledge. Let us know what you've been through. Let us know how you feel, just particularly feel, about any of the topics we've discussed. Thank you.